Hello there YouTube and welcome to Shadow of War. Today we're doing a Defendi Siege thing, which I have not done yet because they added these in a uh, couple of weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. And I was planning on doing it straight away, but I've been really busy. Hence a slightly smaller amount of content. And there's a Draco, but let's just start. Alright, so here we have... We ah, it shows us who we're being assaulted by and what we've got. I Good job we're in this now because I'm going to want to suddenly put up a whole bunch of defences, yep. I've already got all my war chiefs, so like epics and legendaries mostly. This is not my best fort, because I didn't want to test it out on that one. However, as you can tell, it's a fairly decent one. And we're going up against a bit of a mix. No one looks too terrible. They're bringing Ologs, Defenders, Cursed Siege Beasts, or oh, Wild Drake. Oh, I love it when people bring a Wild Drake at me, it's so fun to just dominate. And yeah, I'm going to take a quick look at all of these guys. Whenever you do a fortress thing of any type, always... Oh jeez, you got a lot of enraged. Take a look at who you're fighting against, because for example, this guy here, he's a tough one. However, we'll be using poison and stealth to deal with him, so those are his weaknesses. And it's always worth keeping an eye out just in case there's any mortal weaknesses too. Alright, so that's Nazu. How do we deal with him? He's scared of spiders, and he can kill me very easily. Alright, what we do here is we knock down the siege beasts. This is what I always do to start things off. And then once they're knocked down, you just dominate. And look at that, you're dealing with the siege beasts immediately. Yay! And whilst we're... Oh, oh, oh. Let's just knock him a bit. And also... Knock a bunch of these ones, then once we've fired those two, yep, jump off of this, and you have to go through this little animation. And he fires a bow, despite the fact we've got, oh, a hammer equipped. And what are you doing over there? Oi. You, stop being git. Thank you. Let's jump over you, and oh, 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 we're getting attacked by my own siege towers, I think. Alright, this could be going worse. Let's... he's frostproof. Alright, we want to be kind of careful with him. Because I want to kill him nice and quickly. I don't want to risk him getting his hands on me. Because I'm pretty sure he had no chance. Which is not so nice to deal with. So let's keep a bit of distance. Our walls are pretty tough, so I don't need to worry too much about things. But, like, why am I stuck? I got stuck all of a sudden. Nope, that's it. Thank you. Oh, he's vigilant against stealth. Oh, dear. Okay, let's stop. I was about to say, let's stop throwing things at him, but that was real charge he went in for there. Alright, he's broken... So, I'm just going to shame him to get rid of him. Because I can't recruit him. Ideally, you want to recruit people, because then you just end up with a whole ton of orcs on your side. However, in this scenario, just shame him and he should just disappear. Yep, and now we have the next wave to deal with. Whilst we're here, let's... Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Managed to dominate one of those with relative ease there. Oh. Let's start jumping over these orcs and rolling about a bit. Jumping some more, and oh, this is really not what you want to get into here. Alright, this is going to require a bit of concentration on my part, so apologies that the commentary will likely be not quite as good, but I'm basically looking at everything around me and waiting for stuff like that, where I get a blue counter show up, and that's a spacebar prompt there, and there's a Karagor that I don't want to deal with, and oh, you can die. Oh, see, because when I start missing them, things go badly wrong. Alright, so we've taken him down a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on. He's... Okay, he's nothing too worrying. He's fireproof, poisonproof, and beastproof. But we can deal with that because he's not frostproof, which I feel is the most important one to be. 
And there we go. Oh, space, space bar, space bar, space bar, panic, space bar, please. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm getting beaten up a lot. I have no elf shot. Alright, let's start legging it. Nope, not where I meant to go. Oh well. I'm playing on a nemesis difficulty, so I've only got a couple of chances to stay alive. So I really can't afford to make too many mistakes. Alright, let's... Damn, I didn't quite get to do that. Yeah, I really, what I'm looking for here is just... Oh, I got clipped. Alright, need to time this perfectly. If he's going to attack, that is. Oh, almost clicked the wrong thing. Nope. Okay. I need to really badly dominate this guy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Perfect. That uh, gets me my health back. Okay, we have a lot of people here that we're trying to deal with. So I've just got to try and thin some of them out. Alright, I have just run into three different captains in a row. And now I've got to try and deal with all of them without this going badly. Which, as you can imagine, is probably not the way it's going to work out. However, as long as these guys keep a bit of distance, I should be able to... Yep, deal with him. Sweet, and he's too high a level, so just bump and go straight into shaming him. Here we are. Yeah, I ran away from the other guy because he was just getting a bit too troublesome to deal with. If you ever find in one of these online conquests or fortresses or whatever it is that you've got too many things you're dealing with and it's just getting a bit tricky, don't worry about, like, running away. Sometimes it really is the best thing to do. Oh, no. I was a bit too slow there. No! Don't grab me! Bad orc! Bad. You are mine. Okay. Let's... Okay, knock down this thing. No, just get the... I just want to take the thing down. Not trying to... No, wrong orc! Wrong orc. Just stop! Bad, 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 bad. Oh, I'm getting into a spacebar loop. This is where you basically just have to tap spacebar endlessly to get away. This does happen occasionally with some of them. Alright, let's just start throwing stuff at. Let's take this guy, have him as our own. Now let's summon our own orcs. Get some of them in, and you are... Yep, just got there in time. Now, any orc that you possibly can, you should recruit. Because this suddenly means you have your own people on the outside. And don't get them to retreat or shun them, get them to stay and fight. Because suddenly you've got a captain on the outside. Which is infinitely helpful. And yeah, I know that that wasn't going to go well. However... Oh, he's retreating. That's quite good. Um, I kind of want to dominate him. I suppose... Oh, perimeter's breached. That's bad. Alright, let's start taking down a few Karagors. Just thin these out a bit, because that'll do much better. Now, you're mine. Let's quickly rush and deal with all of these. Alright, how to summon a couple of my own Karagors and get inside, because we need to defend our own people now. Alright, yeah, yeah, he's adapted. However, there are totally some arrows here. There we go. And we can freeze him. And whilst everyone's a bit busy, we can just work on knocking him down in health a fair bit. And hopefully... Yes, the execution actually went for the person I wanted to. Yeah, in big fights like this, it can be very easy for executions not to go where you want them to. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is... Quick... Shadow kill thingy and bosh, here's all of a sudden. Don't attack me, please. Thank you. 
Now we have another orc who's going to join our team. Yeah, you suddenly find that once you start knocking down a few of them, you just get more and more orcs to help you out. Yeah, okay. Didn't actually mean to stealth kill that beast, but sure, let's go with it. You do occasionally get Olo commanders who just constantly get stuck uh, outside of walls. Which I'm honestly not going to complain about. You, He's arrow proof. Cool. I actually wanted to dominate you, thank you very much. Ta. Because what we're going to do here is just knock down a few of these people, start roaring a bit, summon a... Oi! Okay, one of my guys is bleeding out, one of my guys is bleeding out. Got the drake, and... No, 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 do not do an introduction or anything, please. Thank you. We're just going to leave him outside enraged for a bit. And have... Oi! No! I've got someone bleeding out who I need to get and save. So I don't want to... Oh, perfect. There's a hole in my wall here. It's actually helpful for once. I'm going as fast as I can to get to... Oi, you get up. Sweet! And I saved my guy. It's good, because otherwise you start dealing with dying captains, you lose tons of your forces, and it all goes badly. And that's not fun. Thank you. And brutalize one of these guys, Finn out of the horde again. And now... Because you're sickly, let's bosh! Poison damage should deal some stuff to you there. And now let's just focus on fighting him. Kill the grunts when they come along and try and mess with me. Stupid grunts. Having Ologs who are arrowproof is quite annoying, because you can normally just incapacitate them by... Ah, he's frostproof as well. Oh, what the hell happened there? Alright, bit of a funny camera angle. That is the problem of fighting right next to a wall. And he's frostproof as well, so we can't really stun him for any length of time. So instead, we're just having to go for repeatedly beating him up and jumping between his legs. Which is not probably the most interesting way to fight. And every few goes. Kind of want to kill this guy. But it's quicker and safer to shame him. And it doesn't use up my might. So, shame. Ta da! And he's leveled down. And that's it done. That wasn't too bad. Took me a little under 20 minutes, and that was with running back and forth a bit. I probably should have just focused on him, but I figured there'd probably be another raid somewhere. Oh, and it's a way to level up your Overlord. So if you don't want to take your Overlord out of the thing, you can level him through that. That's quite cool. And get a bunch of Mirian, although I really don't need it. The rewards on that don't seem too amazing, so I probably won't bother doing it very often. However, as you can see, because my quest mark is still there... It's a little radiant thing you can do, earns a bit of gold. If you like defending the fortresses, it's good. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more Shadow of War, make sure to comment with what specifically you want to see, because obviously I've got Fight Pit Fridays, which gives us a weekly Shadow of War thing, but I also like to do just occasional videos like this one, where I show off something and do stuff within the game. So if there is anything specific you want to see, make sure you comment it so I know. If you're new around the channel, make sure to subscribe, and thank you all for watching.